What if, in the blink of an eye, 14 million American men could no longer produce their own testosterone? The very essence of their manhood gone. And understandably, what would happen to us as a society? One hundred and thirty-one million Americans are currently receiving prescription medication, but my focus today is just one. What if testosterone replacement therapy was abruptly cut off for everyone? An already feminized American society, with a significant number of its alphas, finding their gonads shriveling up faster than a prune in the desert. One percent loss every year, a pattern that conveniently coincides with the corporatization of our nation. Companies have created products laden with xenoestrogens for decades. An all-out assault on our balls. Xenoestrogens are synthetic, a synthetic chemical that mimics estrogen, a chemical we can't hide from found in upwards of 70% of everyday products, even the receipts we are given when they're handed to us, that devilish little chemical seeps in our skin. And as we eat the products that contain them, we are slowly being poisoned. Eventually at this rate, no man will be able to get his rocks off, because all we'll have left are pebbles. This isn't some wild conspiracy theory. It's our current reality. What if I told you that for the past 75 years, someone has been adding an imperceptible amount of a toxin to all your products with complete disregard for your health? Would you deem that criminal? Well, this is what's been happening. Testosterone reducing chemicals might have been deliberately placed in our food for over 75 years corporations fully aware of their potential harm. But guess what? They made the problem, and they have the solution. Testosterone Replacement Therapy, aka TRT. Now upwards of almost 15 million of our men are receiving it. As energy levels plummeted in the early 2000s, all we had to do was trust the science. And if we didn't trust it, we could always look to the celebrities extolling the virtues of testosterone. And by 2010, the drug had gained significant traction. Not only did real testimonies from famous athletes and actors emerge, even Bobby from next door juiced up his balls and then claimed it changed his life. Testosterone quickly became a daily essential for millions of men. First off, let me give you the 101 of the basic production of testosterone in the body. The details are quite complex, but I'm going to simplify it for you. A hormone communicates to the brain to release another different hormone. Then that different hormone then travels to the ball sack and convinces the nuts to turn cholesterol into testosterone. This testosterone then spreads through the body, providing it with all that manly goodness that the ladies love. You see, TRT makes the body rely on external testosterone. Over time, the body stops producing its own because it thinks it doesn't need it anymore. If you are on TRT for an extended amount of time, and the supplementation is suddenly cut off, the body's natural production will not sustain itself at a sufficient level. And depending how long someone was on TRT, the big T may never be produced again. These men might have their muscles weaken, energy levels plummet, and an onset of depression could cast a shadow over every aspect of life. Sleep becomes elusive as they're plagued by insomnia and night sweats could visit them daily. As libidos nosedive, relationships can take a hit, and much like the bloated egos that led some of them to TRT, their bones become as brittle as a politician's promise. The whole world can be thrown into chaos. news about the escalating global crisis. A spokesperson from the White House has announced an immediate reduction in the distribution of all non-life-saving medications. 
those included are TRT, opiates, and Adderall. Resources are being redirected to sustain essential services. It is important to note that individuals undergoing gender transition will continue to receive their hormone replacement therapy. President Harris urges the public to understand the necessity of these measures for the greater good. How could this happen to the land of the free? There is no chance this can happen, right? Well, let's make a scenario where it could happen and explain how it could happen. Iran launches an attack on Israel, prompting a swift and devastating aerial assault from American forces. Russian forces, already engaged in warfare in Ukraine, advances towards Iran to help its ally. As the Russian army crosses the border, NATO quickly integrates Finland as a new member, in which Russia responds with its own missile strikes directly into the heart of Finland. As American military forces are stretched thin, China decides to invade Taiwan with a massive force of 150,000 soldiers. President Brandon falls down a flight of stairs and passes away. World War III begins. This channel is the personal channel of Joe Sokol. ReliefReserve.com did not sponsor or create this video and does not endorse consuming its product. All rights are reserved to Joe Sokol. If you watched up to this point, we request you like the video to help out. Now, let's explore how this conflict could halt the production and distribution of testosterone replacement therapies. Global shipping and trade blockades. Drug manufacturing plants destroyed. Widespread import-export restrictions and embargoes. Many economic sanctions between countries. Pharmaceutical companies closing down worldwide. Millions of people lose health insurance coverage. Any one of these factors could grind TRT distribution to a halt. Combine them, and it's a catastrophe. Millions of people would suddenly be cut off from something they rely on. Personal health and peace would be tested. And unfortunately, we'd get to see just how flimsy our global supply chains really are. People angry, pharmacies empty, and everyone's left feeling in peril. For some TRT users, they've become even more dependent on the hormone than heroin for a heroin addict. The heroin addict just needs a week or two. But for a long-term TRT user, they could face much more serious consequences. Fourteen million of our most active, most aggressive, and best leaders basically castrated. Testosterone production shut off, as if a switch had been flipped. Any group or entity that can control the distribution of our meds can enact this terrifying situation. And if they were to hold TRT hostage, consider the desperation that would follow. And just as a crackhead might mow a lawn for five dollars, men could be driven to extremes to reclaim their masculinity. Ask yourself, would many of these men sell their souls if faced with the extreme side effects of low T? How many of those 15 million people could be used as pawns? maybe even against their own citizens, against their own neighbors. The chaos would spread like wildfire. Workplaces would see productivity plummet as their most energetic workers vanish into the shadows of their former selves. Families would watch helplessly as fathers, husbands, and sons grapple with sudden, crushing fatigue and depression. Those who can't access TRT? Or how about those who refuse to make a deal with the devil and betray their own man? In desperation, they might turn to drugs, just to feel normal. Communities would bear the brunt as their leaders and protectors falter, either too exhausted to function or intoxicated beyond reason. It's like leaving behind a land filled with wolves, only to return to a land filled with furries. The natural hierarchy of men in the U.S. would be flipped overnight. As long-time TRT users are reduced to a shell of themselves, society's natural order would be upended. The men of our communities, who have innocently sought the vitality of youth, were now led into a life of hormonal dysfunction. 
Some of the men who once protected the vulnerable have become vulnerable themselves. Condemned to the testosterone levels of a woman, it's like replacing guard dogs with poodles. Without TRT, some men might be as emotionally wrecked as a woman watching The Notebook right after a breakup. Remove masculinity, our nation could crumble. Was this whole thing planned? A cabal of bad actors lurking behind the scenes aware of this Achilles heel? Taking our strong men without even getting their hands dirty? And the institutions that are supposed to protect us, they are at the forefront of suspicion. What kind of freedoms do we have when these powerful entities control even our most basic biological processes? A life that has been directed by Stanley Kubrick this entire time, but nobody bothered to tell us there was a script. While this might sound like some what-if fantasy, the implications are way too real, and we rarely take a look at the institutions that have power over us and hardly ever scrutinize pharmaceutical dependency. Few people question motives, and most folks can't picture a scenario like this at all, just writing it off as some conspiracy theory. Minds that cannot conceive potential disasters or systemic corruption, they just don't believe bad things can happen to them. But if history has taught us anything, it's that the unimaginable can become reality. We have been walking an invisible tightrope without a safety net, being told by our masters we are walking down a wide path. And understandably, nobody wants to look down. Does anyone know where I can get a safety net? Before I answer, please, don't get angry. You see, my aim is to create thought-provoking and unique videos, and I want to bring you good content every time. My safety net is my faith, even if you think God is a fairy tale and you think that I'm crazy. I still function in society like a sane person, and me and you, we can still be friends. Being a Jesus freak is a tiny gamble that can have a big payoff in the future, and in my case, my faith gave me a payout immediately. Just a little bit of extra peace. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope since you watched the whole video you can go over and click the subscribe and like buttons. That would be cool.